Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why women flirt with other men when they're in a relationship. This video is because you've requested it, and I've received a couple comments again in regards to do a video like this, so I want to be pretty damn clear with you. But before we get started, if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you and thank you. Um, please take the time right now to subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time that I post a new video about dating and relationship advice for you men. All right, so I had a comment on my YouTube channel and, a and an email from someone with a story about his girlfriend seeking attention from other men and a comment asking me, Apollonia, why do women want attention from other men when they are in a relationship? All right, here is where you have to draw boundaries, men. If a woman is seeking attention in another relationship, then why is this even happening? This is where my question lies. Why is this even happening? Because if you are asking this question, you are enabling this woman to do so. How are you enabling her to do so? Well, I'll tell you how. Maybe you catch her flirting with another guy in front of your face, or maybe she's messaging another guy on Facebook or on Instagram or texting her best friend that you know in your gut, this is not a best friend because of the fact that he doesn't wanna be around you, he sometimes flirts in front of you, whatever the case may be, I can go into a whole nother list of things that I've heard. But what I'm saying is you continue to be with her, so you're enabling this behavior. So meaning you're saying, okay, I get mad at you, but I am okay with this behavior because of the fact that you continue to tell me that you won't do it or it's not a big deal and she sweeps it under the rug and you're still there with her because you love her. No. Plain and simple, no. If a woman is with you, she's with you, especially if you are a person that wants to be in a relationship with you and her and not an open relationship. But this is the thing is, when clients come to me and say, Apollonia, how do I get my girlfriend to start flirting with, uh, stop flirting with other men? My, my answer is always, why is she even your girlfriend? Why are you even with her? Because if a woman is flirting with another man, men, that you've got to cut that cord right away and walk out that door the first time you witness this behavior and show her that it's not going to be tolerated because you staying there shows her it's tolerated. So you're enabling this woman. So I'm going to give you a reason why these women do this. There's no excuse for it, plain and simple, coming from a woman herself, but I'm going to give you reasons of why. And so you know what type of woman that you're dealing with here. But I want to and I'm going to say that at the end of the video for you. But here's the thing is, you know, you will see a girl, your girlfriend texting another man and she can say like it's her friend. And and, in, and if you tell her straight up that, okay, I don't feel like this guy is just your friend. He obviously likes you. He's obviously interested in you because so, so, and so. So because of respect out of our relationship and because I don't think this relationship with this other man is healthy, then I'm asking you to stop talking to him. And if you don't, then I'm done here. Plain and simple. And she might get frustrated, she might get mad, she might yell at you. And let me tell you, if that woman raises her tone, that shows a lack of respect unless you both communicate like this and raise your tone, then you both disrespect each other. But the point is here is you need to set a standard of ground rules and the woman has to know business means business. When you say something, you mean business and you and you need to have that healthy line of scarcity in a relationship. There's so many people that disagree with this and I am not, will never wiggle on this. The healthiest relationships have scarcity in them. What do I mean? All right, my boundaries, I know what he needs in a relationship. I know what he's not willing to tolerate in a relationship. And if I cross those paths, if I cross what he's not willing to tolerate, he will walk out that door just as much as I will walk out that door. Will I do it? Hell freaking no, because I love the man that I'm with. That is what I mean by a scarcity pot. But what, that's what I mean by a little bit of scarcity in your relationship. Am I scared? No, because I know as a woman that I won't ever do that to him because I love him. I value him. I value our partnership. I love our partnership more than I love him. Let me say that again. 
I love our partnership more than I love him. I love the two of us together because we bring each other up into one magnetic force. That's where your value comes in a relationship because there's no attachment. He has no attachment to me. Yeah, of course he loves me, but he loves us. So here's the thing is what I'm, I'm alluding to here is this is where the boundaries come into place because I know sure as hell if I was a woman that was to be texting another man and obviously the business I'm in is different but if it was for pleasure um then for and for attention which I would never do but I know in a heartbeat my man would be walking out of that door and being like see ya see you next Tuesday don't let the door hit you on the way out because it comes a line where you got to put yourself first in these relationships and some women will challenge you men and you've got to show them because there's it comes down to whatever you want to call it ancient days modern history what i'm saying here is a man should always be able to set the tone so should a woman but when it comes to the relationship it's so important that you become the dominant force in that relationship, meaning that the both of you can make responsible decisions together, but ultimately you can always have your opinion and you can always have your voice just as much as she can. And what I, why I, why I talk about like it goes back into the modern stone ages or whatever you want to call it in history, let's just say, is because women want to feel secure and women want to feel um, as though they obviously are loved, but they need that emotional, emotional connection, obviously, throughout the years of your relationship. An emotional connection is not always being on your knees and praising the woman all the time. Heck no, I would never actually say to do that. But what it does mean is forming boundaries and speaking your opinion when there is one, speaking what you are willing to tolerate and when you're not willing to tolerate because emotionally this is a connection too. And lastly is because you have to understand that you can hold so much power in your decision making because if a woman truly loves you and she brings some baggage into the relationship and you show her it's not going to be tolerated and you walk out if this woman truly loves you she's going to try to face her baggage head on so this doesn't happen again because she doesn't want to lose the person that she loves now let's talk about why women would do this because one they're insecure completely insecure and are looking for men to to, to give them attention and unnecessary attention. And two, she's insecure. And you probably are a guy that's attentive. I only hope that you're a guy that's attentive and you respect her and you guys are just in a, you know, in a relationship. You don't disrespect her and say she's ugly, she's fat, blah, blah, blah. But what you do do is you're just there. You're emotionally available for her and she does this. So if she does, then two is because she's seeking outside attention as well as you. So what do I mean like that? Okay. So one was she's seeking outside attention from other men because she has low self-esteem and two, she does have low self-esteem, but also seeks a more attention from you. So what I mean by number two is she wants to see if you are going to want her more by another guy wanting her. She thinks mentally in her head, if another guy wants me, then he's gonna want me more. It's gonna make him more attracted to me. It's gonna show him like I'm in demand or something, you know? And this is unhealthy behavior. And once you see, and when you find a woman that has these type of behaviors, you will be able to notice all the time because she's always gonna be seeking compliments. She's always gonna be doing this. And this is where you set the tone in the relationship and just tell her flat out like, uh-uh, this is not happening. I wanna end it with this is, you shouldn't even ask why this woman is seeking other attention from men in your relationship. Because if she's seeking other attention from men in the relationship, you need to find her way, she needs to find her way out the door and she needs to start respecting you and the relationship if she wants to come back. It's the only way it's gonna happen. Don't stick around in hopes that she's gonna change her ways because you're just enabling her behavior. Don't stick around and say, well, you're not paying attention to me and blah, 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 because I, that's why I'm seeking other men and that's why I'm talking to this guy because you're not paying attention for me at home. And then you get in this fight, an hour goes on and you're fighting and fighting and finally you guys forgive each other and then you're back to where square one. You're enabling the behavior. Step into your power, be grounded, know what you deserve, and always stick to that because I can guarantee you, man, 
If you stick to that, that is going to be the number one thing that will attract a woman into your life either again or in the future. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, share this video with someone that you think that can need it. And also share your comments below. I love hearing from you. I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.